Hello Great Tens. Today I'm looking at page 45 from your workbooks. This is still mechanical drawing and we are looking at the construction of a nut. This is a nut over here and there are certain things we need to know in order to complete mechanical drawings that have nuts and bolts in them. A nut is considered an internal thread so here is where they've got the thread on the inside. <coughs> this is an M36 so the arrow is indicating to this outside edge here that is a diameter of 36 so if it says M36 that also means the diameter is 36. In order to construct this, what we do is we draw a circle. Now to get the size of that circle, there's a formula that we have to use and it is 1.5 times the diameter, which is this case is 36. So that is 1.5 times 36 equals 54. As you'll note, the tip of that is equal to this measurement there of 54. AF means across the flat sides. So there's a horizontal line, here's a horizontal line. They consider that the flat sides of the hexagon. So the across the flat measurement is 54, which is the formula that was calculated to draw this circle. The other way that they give you a measurement for a hexagon is across the tips and that would be in a different construction method. If you look at this shape here, what this is referred to is where we see the three faces of the nut. One, two and three. Over here this is the other view and this is where we see two faces of the nut. So I'm going to get started with my construction. I'm going to start by drawing the circle that has a diameter of 54. There's my circle. Now what I need to do is draw tangents. Tangent is a point that only touches the circle in one point. So I'm drawing my horizontal lines first. <coughs> I'll take my 30, 60 degree set square and make sure it's the correct one. And you could check as well, that angle is 60 and that angle is 60. So I'll bring that across and draw the tangents here. Rotate my set square. And you're going to hope that these points meet up. And there is the outside of my nut. <coughs> now the inside, the circle, remember this broken circle, because that indicates a thread, is the diameter of 36. So if you've got a circle stencil, you might be able to just get a circle from your circle stencil to do that. I don't have a circle stencil at the moment, so I'm marking off a distance of 18. And this is the broken circle. The line quality should be, you can see in the drawing, is lighter. So it's a thinner line, so this should be what we would refer to as the B type of line. It's not as dark as your outline and not as light as the construction line. Now, the next trick is the next line in. This is the dark line and it's a full circle. That is indicating the thread of this nut. Now, the thread calculation is 0.1 times the M value or the diameter. The M or the diameter value. 
<coughs> which means if our m value was 36, another way of looking at it is just to change the decimal place. So the decimal place was here, we move it one forward, so the thread is 3.6. Now remember, we must measure off 3.6 from this side, which means we're taking the 3.6 off the radius and not the diameter. You'll get a completely different circle if you measure that off your diameter measurement. So I'm going for about 3.5 here. Make my mark there. And draw my circle. Remember, this is a full circle, and it's in an outline. It should be dark. Remember, you've got a circle stencil. Please use that. That, and hopefully you can see the quality. That that is a darker line than this line. <coughs> and the more or less my nut in the top view. Just going to put in that center line. And just darken this outside edge quick. Now I'm going to project our lines down to get the front view and what they refer to as the three faces of the nut. I've projected my lines down and I'm leaving about 10 millimeters space. Now they tell us that this height is 29. Now if they don't give you the height, you need to know the formula. The formula is 0.8 for a nut times that M value or the diameter value. Which gave you an answer of 28 point something, which they've rounded off to 29. <coughs> so let's mark the height of 29. That gives me the outline of my nut with the three faces. Now we've got little arcs that we have to draw in. In order to find the center for those arcs, what we do is we take our 30, 60 degree set square, take a 60 degree angle, and we draw a 60 degree line from this outside corner, and the same thing from the other corner. Where that intersects, that gives me the center point. And what I do now is take my compass, put it at the center, extend it to the top of the shape. If you want, you could have obviously drawn your center line. And that gives me this arc. Now, <clears throat> to find the arc in the other points here, we go into the small face and we draw it degree line there and the same on the other side now really that should only be a check because your measurements should be the same and so should the radius so I set up my radius now this is a bit of a cheat what you really try and do is see if it touches at the top there before we draw anything see if it's going to touch that arc yes it does and now I'm going to draw in that arc Go to the other side, again just double check, it's touching at the top there, and then it's touching that arc, yes it is, and then I can draw in the arc. <coughs> now the tricky one with this is that we've got to draw a little chamfer from the edge here, so now we flip our set square over, and we draw this little chamfer at 30 degrees on the edge of that arc on that side. 
Slip my set square around and draw my 30 degrees chamfer on the other side. Now we can join the lines across the top, basically from where that chamfer is, across like that. And let's finish this outline. There's the bottom. The lines coming from the bottom to the chamfer. The line coming from the bottom to the arc. The line coming from the bottom to the arc on the right hand side of the center face. And the same on the other side. And there is the nut. The front view of the nut. If I just take away those corners there, just to see that you have a chamfer in this view. <clears throat> and the line stops at where the arc is. This little part should be open. Now let's get the right view. Now the right view or the left view would be the same thing. So remember your projection, so from the front view, corner of the front view, I would project a 45 degree line, I would take my width dimensions across to the 45 degree line, and project those lines down. And then project the height measurements of 29 from the front view. And there's the outline. As you can see, we've got the arcs over here as well. And we're going to use the same method as we used for the three faces. So put in 60 degree lines. But it just stays in the block. Please note as well the shape. For the two faces, it's rectangular. They don't have a chamfer here where the arc is. Once again, this should give you some feedback. So when I draw your arc, this distance should be the same in both of these and if not just fiddle it a bit I'll finish that off so my solid line across the top solid line across the bottom That goes all the way up. Center line goes just to where the arcs are. And all the way up on the other side here. Okay, and there is the construction of my nut. The front view, top view, and left, right view. Here it's showing the three faces. Here it's showing the two faces.